What are we doing today, bruv? We're doing a review. On? Something new. Talk to me. We're yet to do a helmet review. Mmm. I don't know why I put my porn voice on there, but... <laughs> today, we are looking at the Nex XR2 Redline Black Carbon. That sounds beastly. That sounds beastly. Yeah, so... We've had this range, so it started off, I originally had the Next XR2 Gold Edition, mm. uh, then I got the white and black in, but basically this is one of our best-selling helmets. Uh, it's a carbon fiber shell, uh, Next Portuguese brand, handmade helmets, come with a five-year extended warranty, free of charge. Handmade? Handmade. So, so we're talking like showy Arai level. I wouldn't say that, right. only because showy and Arai have heritage. Okay. That next lack. So in terms of the production, though, yes. Yeah. Right. And that's okay. this particular helmet. Not all of the helmets are handmade. I don't believe. Uh, okay. Cool. All right. Um, so yeah, um, it's one of our best-selling helmets. We sold loads of them. Uh, we even sponsor a rider. Uh, I think he's Bemzy that wears one. Mm. Um, can't complain. I've had uh, I've had some of our customers that do an awful lot of track days. A couple of them, Liam, rap rap, he's crashed in one. Um, Absolutely, he came back and bought another. So to me, that says says something. Yeah, he's still got all of his memory faculties that and might that. Be why he built bought another. Ah, uh, Scott, he bought the first one. <laughs> 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 so we figured, we're, unlike normally, we'll do a, the full unboxing because you know it's YouTube. Let's do a bit of unboxing. So, <laughs> you know that. You know what I'm thinking of. You know Pulp Fiction. Yeah. When you just look at, when they look in the briefcase yeah. and all the light comes out of the brief briefcase, but you don't actually know what's what's in it. Yeah. That that's what I'm getting right now. Are you, are you gonna edit the light in? What in here? <laughs> so course your bog standard helmet bag helmet bag's nice though yeah and it's microfiber lined so won't scratch your lid oh Stop. really yeah and the helmet itself i'll show you from behind because you know we like a bit of derriere mm. is that red that's red and this one is number one three five eight yo that is sick yeah Ooh. what what? And that visor right. comes with the helmet. Oh, so you're not paying like another 60 quid? No. Brother, look at the ghost logo. Oh. Yeah. And for those of you wondering, those there are tear off posts. So this is a race helmet and it's race ready. So should you want to wear use tear offs, and if in case you don't know what tear offs are, if you watch Yellow Man TT or any kind of racing, you'll see them peel stuff off their visor, mm. so that it's a quick way of not instead of cleaning, you just take off the top layer and you, it's clean again underneath. Mm. So yeah, I don't know how you know, I don't know how many come in a pack, but a few of them, I guess. You just peel them off if you get too much dead bugs on your wind on your visor. Right. So it's tear off ready. Um, of course, on the other side of those tear offs are. Uh, tear off posts are pin locks or pin lock posts on the inside so it's pin lock ready and there is in fact a pin lock included in the okay box. so they it's haven't free. skimped out then no and if you don't know what a pin lock is there'll be a card right here to show you and, and explain what a pin lock is um, in one of our two minute ish tech videos um, so yeah pin lock is included in the box but for those of you also wondering well that's all well and good but is that road legal yeah, yeah, that is a good question. They also give you a clear. Okay. In the box. So that's my clear. Also, tear off ready. Also tear and off And pin lock ready. ready. And pin lock ready. Can I point something out that I saw the other can. day with this helmet? Yes. What side is it on? I think it was on that side. No, it's not that side. No. It's this side here. So if we go in there, that says for daytime use only so that means that that tinted iridium gold visor can be used legally in the daytime the police can't go. touch you fam there you go what there you go yeah there you go mm. so that's the next xr2 red edition dark red edition in fact 
That's dope. Look at it. It is cool. And it's got a matte carb matte finish on the carbon. Um, and the retail price is £299.99. That's 300 quid. Let's just try this. Uh... Do you know what? That's quite... Yeah. Oh, we've got a few levels there. Yeah, this, I think it's a... One, two, three. So there's three levels three there. Levels, yeah. It's actually quite... Tactile. Not just tactile, but quite firm. Yeah, you can feel, you know when you're moving yeah. along a, a notch. Yeah. Bruv, the profile is mad. It's, yeah, it's awesome. It the, looks hard. The profile is mad. Let me just put that against the orange background there. Oh, wibbly wobbly. Good. Look at that profile. It looks wicked with the orange background. It does it, look right? really good. You have to take a picture for the thumbnail there. Okay, so we've got exhaust fence at the back. Yeah. And uh, what I like about these exhaust vents mm. is they are permanently open, and that's how all exhaust vents should be. Because there's no need to close or open an exhaust vent because all of the action happens from the front. Mm -hmm. Wherever, if you close the front vents, there's no need for exhaust because nothing's coming in to force air out. Mm. So by closing the front vents, you are in effect closing off all circulation. Right. And close. So they, you, you, so those that put those little levers on the exhaust vents, they're completely unnecessary. So it's just, I just like it because they haven't put anything superfluous there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, so open the vents and. Uh, the way in which, which most all ventilation works is the uh, negative pressure. There's a pressure difference, basically, and so it will get sucked out of the, the exhaust vents. Chin vent? Chin vent as well. Two positions? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Let's see. No, actually, no, it's open or closed. But okay. again, you don't need that much. Well, no, because if it's track use, then it's just it's, open, isn't it? Yeah. Flat exactly out that. and you're on it. Exactly that. So, there's a few things to add with Nex helmets in general. Um, and I, it's something that I first come across when I first started dealing with Nex because I haven't always sold Nex in previous jobs and stuff. Um, Nex goes out a little bit further and what they do is at the bottom of the helmet, this part of the padding, they actually use slightly thicker padding than I guess would be the case for other manufacturers mm. for the size of helmet in question. Mm. So what, people, what, what tends to happen is, and the reason I actually spe specifically point this out, yeah. is because people will go, hang on, Oi, 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 oi. Oh. Because I'm worth it. <laughs> People will, will go like that and go, oh, no, no, that's too tight. So what they've done is they've given an extra thick bit of padding so that once the helmet is all the way down, it forms a seal right against your neck. So it mm. stops air from whooshing in, one. Mm. Two, it makes the helmet a little bit quieter. And it really, really makes sure that even without these, that helmet isn't going to easily come off with no mm. resistance. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just to add a bit of comfort and security, I feel. And of course, you've got the double D, which in my opinion is the safest, especially for racing, uh, type of fitting for a helmet. Doesn't it have a magnet as well? Has that got a magnet? I think it does, right? Or is it a popper? Popper. It's a popper. Mm. Just... Brother, that looks mad. That looks mad. And I can see where it's the road legal tint because we can see your eyes yeah. there, which if it was an illegal tint, it's and most actually, likely... From this, sorry, I couldn't hear you, so I cut you off, sorry. But from this end, it doesn't... Re it changes the colour, but it doesn't really tint. It doesn't make things darker. Mm. So, it, And actually, I imagine in, in real sunlight conditions, bright sunlight conditions, it might just take that edge off a little bit yeah, and they just make everything nice and clear. Just the other thing to add is with these helmets... They've gone out of their way to give it very, very wide peripheral vision. So you've got really good side to side view from without, you know, from your, you know, from there. So a lot of helmets will stop about there. So you kind of have a little bit less. That's sick. Yeah. Bruv, just, just close that visor one more time. As you were talking there, I wasn't really listening because if I do that, no, I can't wait for you to see this. That's very impressive. As far as high vis and visibility goes, that is very impressive what I've just seen. High vis king. Huh? High vis king. Yeah, but I like to be seen, innit? I like <laughs> to be seen. <clears throat> That's very impressive. Wow. Okay. I'm impressed with that helmet. 
How much? 300 quid. 300 quid. However, that said, this is one of our best selling helmets and we do turn over a lot of them. So I have been known to drop the price from time to time. Cheeky. Yeah. Because we sell a lot of them, they're very good, and I want people to have good quality carbon fiber helmet. I just like to put it out there. I want to, I want to spread the world with this good stuff. Can I put you on a spot? Of course you can. Can I, can I give the people what they want? Go on. So when you have an arrow, right? Yeah. It is a faff to change the visor. Yeah. Then you buy a showy yeah. and you go, why wasn't I doing this the whole time? Yeah. And you buy a HJC maybe. Yeah. And you go, oh, that's super easy. Yeah. What's this one like? Show you. I oh, know I put you on the spot because we, we didn't plan to do this, did we? Open the visor now. No. Open the visor. And you give one a twist. And tuck it across the shop, the shop floor. And the other one, same again. And then... That's off. And then to put it back on... That looks like we planned it. Because <laughs> I went to pick that up and brought the camera with me. And then yeah. it was off. Well, you know, <clears throat> I've been doing, I've done, because I normally fit pin locks for customers before right. they leave, so I know my way around. Okay, so show us it on, and I'll keep it on the helmet the whole time. So putting it back on with a tinted visor with all helmets is always a little bit more hard, because you can't see where the things line up because the visor's blocking it. But basically, all you've got to do is not, help, drop, not drop the helmet in front of the camera, and then just, what I generally do is just do that until it, it falls in place, and then give it a click. Oh. And then... Obviously, the fingerprints are clean before the customer gets the helmet back. And that, no, other way around, sorry. That way around. That's one side. Bro, that's quite simple. And then this one, again, because you've done one side, it will line into place a little bit easier. You clip it in. Pop that in. Obviously, I would have polished this up again. I'm touching it all up, but... So, for all you Arai users out there that have struggled... Those pods were horrendous back in the day. The old pods. Yeah. The new ones are better. I've got. To, I've got to say, the new ones are better because they stay on the helmet. And they've made it a lot I did easier. A competition when I was at Infinity, they wanted to see who could do it the fastest. Mm. And I wasn't. I was pretty quick, but my mate actually was so quick. Uh, Max in Australia, shout out, bruv. Um, they sent him to the other man TT to actually be in the race pits to no, change. Oh, yeah. stop it! It was an awesome experience, actually. Yeah, he said. Yeah. <laughs> Max here from Infinity Motorcycles Chiswick, and that was the Infinity Visor Challenge. Even saw him on telly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, it, they made it a lot, lot better. But this, as you can see, oh, well, I just did it in front of you. It wasn't that hard at all. No. No, no seconds rather than yeah. minutes. Easily. And Head whereas the old too. Arai's, oh my good lord, yeah. literally they trained me how to do it. The, the guys from Arai came and trained me, and then the next customer I had, I still got to do it. Is it, the, is it the L type? Is it the L type? I can't visor? remember. It was so long ago that I don't one, recall. Yeah. But it'd be on the old Chaser. No, Vaz V. The old Vaz C. Quantum no. ST. Yeah. Had it. Yeah. And now the new debut has got it. Okay. Yeah. So if you've got any of those helmets, then yeah. Struggle away, but this. Is, so hang on, this number here. I love that design. Yeah. That ghost black line that goes I all the way over the top. Because I put my fingerprints all over. Well, it. well. This number here. What's the deal with this number? It's there a limited run. So the gold edition that I told you about originally, they were a limited run. I'll flash a picture up on the screen. Okay. They were a limited run. So they every now and again they take the XR2, and mm. rather than just mashing out loads of them like. AGV do or whatever mm. they will do they'll make sure they're super cool to begin with mm. and then they'll do a limited run and that's it once they're done they're done that's it and they just do a new limited run every season that's it and so this is the current season's limited run so you're getting exclusivity as well I, I mean to a certain degree you're getting some s for 280 I said 300 but you can have it for 280 yeah of course I mean, you know, I like to get a deal on that. Retail price is 300 but normally I, I sell it for around the 280 mark. Yeah. Even for 300 quid. It's a carbon fibre hel helmet. Race ready, second uh, visor, custom fit possible. I mean, yeah. 
it's a good, uh, very good value for money. Also, I should add, I'm just gonna, I know off the top of my head, but I wanna double, triple check. Yeah, 1300 grams is the weight. So it weighs the same as a Shoei NXR, which is the other lightweight helmet that I know of. At full arm extended. Yeah. It's a very it's light helmet. It's pretty light. It's a very light helmet. And it's, yeah. Caveat, it's carbon fiber. It's a race lid. It's not designed for commuting. However, it can be commuted in, but it's loud. So mm. it's worth noting. Long motorway stretches, you'll, it'll be loud. But you can still install an intercom like any other helmet, and, and you can have it you know, a little bit dulled dull down by the music or whatever that you're listening to. But in general, all carbon fiber helmets, whether it's Nolan, x Lite, mm. whatever it is, they're always going to be, your HJC, always going to be a bit louder than usual because the shell just, it's carbon fiber. It doesn't block the sound very well. It's dope, man. That's wicked. Can I show you? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I speak? Can you speak English? Can I speak English? Only on Thursdays. Only on Thursdays. Watch this. Watch this. Go on. Watch this. Oh, that's fucking. What is that even? What? What am I seeing? What am I seeing reflecting? Mind blown. Mind blown. Our minds got blown a while ago, but Nelson's. <laughs> shit yeah oh shit and even when it was on the side even, that's sick even when you're like i genuinely thought it was something behind me i was like are you sure are we gonna put this in the video because we might be wrong but brother what wait you can't come in <laughs> yeah okay yeah look look yeah that's naughty visibility king is happy too what instructor dan gives it a tick Big old tick. Yeah, for a black carbon fiber helmet, that's actually very, very good. So we're getting... And it's a race helmet that's not designed to be visible either, necessarily. Yeah. That's really good attention to thought, attention to detail, extra thought. So we're getting visibility. We're getting a sick visor. Yeah, that is fucking sick. And some fingerprints. We're getting... Because <laughs> <laughs> you made me change the visor. Thanks. We're getting... We're getting... What else are we getting? A pin lock. Yes. We're getting tear offs if we want. Yes. Which actually, I probably would put the tear offs on this iridium just to save it from any stone chips. Correct. But not necessarily actually use it to tear off. Yeah. Just, do you know what I mean? We're getting uh, that. We are getting carbon fiber light. Lightweight. Lightweight. Uh, what getting else? There's a possibility for a slightly customizable fit with the added foam in the box. Did I say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, You're getting a lot. Yeah, uh, good ventilation. I really like that design aspect. Schubert are another one that do it, but they're all flip up, so mm. that's what it, it's easy for them to do. Because it's very thick there, and then when you drop it down, obviously that seal is dead complete. Whereas this, you've got a little bit fight with the top of your head to get it down. But when it's down, it sit, clunk, sits down, and it's like, it's nice. You know it's on. Do you know what? Schubert yeah. do a full face helmet. They do the R or something or other. Is it the SR one? Uh, yeah, something like that. They were, someone was racing in it. This is reminds me of that a lot. I actually stopped them for a minute, literally, because Held had a license with Shoeberth to rebrand Shoeberth's helmets, mm. so it's called uh, Shoeberth by Held or Held by Shoeberth or something. And I had some of them for a while. They're of an odd shape, and they're a oh, really? very different helmet. They're really not like any other helmet I've come across. And I we had them at Infinity too, where I used to work and. I never really sold very many of them. There was something about them that people didn't get, didn't like. So internally, what is the shape like of this helmet? Put me on the spot there. I will check and we'll pop it. And we'll pop it. What the actual, what okay. they designed it as. I believe okay. it's intermediate oval, but I, I want to double check that before I confirm. And that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And that's, again, one of the things where I say just go into a shop. Because it's all well and good them telling you intermediate oval <laughs> and you standing in the mirror going, is that intermediate oval? Is that only over trying to find them, trying to figure it out? You just go to the shop and stick a few different brand lids in your head and you'll figure Have out. Have you been you watching want. me in my mirror? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, your missus told me. Oh, like, oh <laughs> steady on, steady on. All right. Oh dear. No, it's a good offering, mate. Yeah. That's a good offering. No, it's. I, I love it. I've sold absolutely shed loads of them, and I've had very little kind of negative feedback. Uh, only, I mean, the only things I've come across is, if I'm honest, is user error or wear and tear where they're a bit hard on their gear, harder on their gear than mm. I or you maybe. Mm. Um, but any any helmet would have 
with that in those same hands probably would have had the same issues things like stitching coming loose on the lining and stuff but again replaceable uh, sorry not lining padding but you, again I can order in fresh pads and they were happy and good to go and if you clean your pads removable padding like normal yeah probably yeah now actually that comes brings me to another thought about Ooh. we we never really we did a video about helmet fitting and actually on that note card up here somewhere uh, if you want any help other side it's the other side up there yeah if you need any help or just a, a quick video on how a helmet should correctly fit but what we didn't go into is shelf life of helmets is EPS linings is the different outer shell types that's another video that maybe we should make and we'll come back to that sounds like a two minute ish tech two minute ish tech I, I tend to talk for a lot longer when I start this subject well good to know that two minute ish tech is not ever Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes ish tech has never been two minutes. It never it will be. Close. It can't even be called ish, really. It's more like five minute ish tech, but then it doesn't sound as good. No, no. And if no one's ever got five minutes, but it's it's that kind of thing that we've 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 it's, gone completely yeah, off this beautiful helmet. Yeah. But it's kind of like a thing where someone goes, "I've got two minutes just to talk." Yeah. <laughs> I'm just the same. Actually, I'm the worst for that. Four hours later, you yeah, still, still, still there. there. Keys talking. in hand, yeah. halfway through the door. We, we, we have a, it's like an Indian goodbye, where you say goodbye on the sofa, yeah, and then you go to put your shoes on, you say goodbye at the door, and then they're outside the door, and you're still saying goodbye, yeah, and then for some reason you've walked them to their car, and you're still talking to them, and then then they've got in the car, you've opened the window, and you're still going, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the street, oh, right? And that in the street, and, yeah. da, 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 da. and then about three hours later, you say actually goodbye and yeah. then they're on their way totally. That's a, a bit like this video <laughs> <laughs> oh no but wait we've got two more things to do with this yes. video yes we have first one is if there would be anything you would like to change what would you want to change with this helmet what would I change for this helmet it's a tough one that's a tough one because it's designed to be kind of stripped back yeah. Because it's a race helmet. Yeah. Um, they've given me all the ventilation I could need. They've given me ports for speakers so I could still get away with doing that kind of stuff. Hmm. They've given me two visors. I mean, like... Replaceable sport. I don't even need a replaceable... No, nothing really. Maybe some fucking polish to clean my fingerprints off every time I touch the thing. But apart from that, there's honestly nothing I, I can't think of. Can you think of it? What, you, what would you say? Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, go on. Chuck in some tear offs then. If you're going to put the post there, yeah. and you're telling me it's a race lid, and the retail cost of tear offs isn't much, so to. No, you they're consumables, next, right? Yeah, to you next, it's very little. So get us started. Give us some tear offs to get us started. Yeah. Then I might actually come back and replace them. You might get mm. some more sales out of them then. Okay. If it were me, mm. I would want. Now that I've seen the array, mm -hmm. and now that we've seen what can go wrong, mm -hmm. yeah, I would want this to either be attached to the helmet or have a second pair. Ah, uh, good shout. Because that dropped off, bounced off, Bounce. fell down a little drain. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair in mind. Fair enough. T-shirt, oh. MGR. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming soon. To an Etsy store near you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was stood up. I've never actually ever changed a visor in this situation. I'd be at a desk, I have a helmet donut, or if you're at home, you're going to be on your bed or something that's a bit soft and... Yeah, and then that falls down the side of your bed, and then, then where are you? Bruv! What you're in the middle of Fuckville! Doing? What kind of thing are you doing for it to go flying down the side of your bed? The exact same thing you did. Yeah, like I said, I was stood up. But if I was sat down, I would have... I would, let's, let's try again. And this is how I normally do it. I have a donut, I'll what? go and get it if you want me to. I think you should. If you're going to do it how you normally do it. Bastard. <laughs> this helmet is sick, Dave. Donut. Mm. Also held, branded. Got them in store and online. Feel free to check us out. Sponsored by Hell. <laughs> wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. I've got to change things up a bit because I'm not six foot tall like the customer I had earlier. What went flying? Where did it go? Is it this thing you're talking about? <laughs> this thing? Small plastic. I'll show you. You put it like this. No problem. 
No, I do again for you. I show you one more time, sir. This thing. Problem. Side bed. Bed side. No. In hand. Bloody bastard. <laughs> Mic drop. I thought you were going to spot me. The algorithm has been fucked right off today. You see what I'm saying, though? Cool. If, so you, what, do, if you do it properly, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what are you giving it? What are you giving it? <laughs> you got nothing to say now. Like, I got nothing to, to say. I got nothing to say. Um, I know what I'm giving it. I think it's gonna have to be a five star. It actually works really. Oh yeah, that's why it was in the thumbnail. I was gonna say it works yeah, really yeah. well. Yeah, works really well with the jacket. Uh, that was in the previous thumbnail. Yeah, I'm gonna give it five stars. I can't fault it. It's n it's not ridiculous money. It's carbon fibre, it's well constructed. Five year warranty. Five year warranty. Just Two visors. Just explain that warranty because some people so may... So they give you a 12 month warranty as standard. However, all you've got to do is go to the next website. I think all you have to do actually is to Google next warranty extension. The form will come up. Scan your receipt, fill out the form and that's it. It's just so that they can link the serial number of the helmet to you as a customer. Oh. So, that you, so you can't sell it on then to transfer the warranty. And what can I warranty? Uh, manufacturer defects. So anything that's, obviously if you crash or accident or you drop it, none of that's covered. It's things that shouldn't go wrong, you know, like, for example, these not working anymore or falling out or the spoiler dropping off or anything that's the manufacturer's responsibility to make sure it will last five years, is, that's, that's what's covered. So, hang on, you, what you're saying is, if I've got this helmet four and a half years yeah. and that thing there as long as drops it, off. Yeah, as long as it's no through not not you dropping it or it's no visible damage on the helmet, yes, you're still covered. I'm covered? Yes. Yeah. Right. I've had, uh, Shelby also have a five year warranty and, and uh, when I was at Infinity we had loads of customers year three, year four turn up. Wow. Yeah. So they really stand by their product. Yeah, as do next. Yeah. As do next. I'm impressed. Because normally if they've got that thing like, I don't know, we're, we're both Krieger fans. Yes. And they give a 10 year warranty and the product really does you can see the quality in how it's built mm -hmm. so well can you can you not see the quality in how absolutely it's built? I, I think it's very well made absolutely i think it's very well made it's well constructed bit of kit look this is exactly what the donuts that's exactly what the donuts for you don't know yeah i know right <laughs> so you've got five year warranty you have two visors do you want, yeah. do you want to put the flash on again yeah we should actually for the bottom oh battery's too low to use flash oh me but yeah, I don't so know if I, if I can, will it work if I put my right, phone flashlight on. Yeah, there we go. No flashlight. Flashlight. So the idea, in case you're wondering why it's on the bottom, it's not technically on the bottom. When the helmet's on, you'll be in, and you're riding, you'll be in that kind of position. So to the driver behind you, they'll still be visible. That's sick. That's wicked for a race helmet that doesn't need to do that. Yeah. Agreed. I think a lot of other manufacturers need to start stepping up. Agreed. Yeah? Should I think we go into things to look at about helmets? A lot of other manufacturers oh. need to start stepping up. <laughs> oh dear. Not going to say anything more than that. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. Wicked. No, I agree. Five star helmet. You're getting a lot of stuff for, for a decent price. Do you know what I mean? If you were to try and get that from Showy... They're go you're going to be paying £500 for the helmet. You're going to be paying £80 for the visor. You're going to be paying however much for the tear-offs. And then Joey's you still... Bracelet is the X-Spirit 3. Oh, sorry, £700. Exactly. Apologies, apologies. £700. So you start there, 700 quid plus the visor. Now we're 800 quid. Yeah. They don't do a carbon version. So then we've got to go to Arai. However, it is lightweight. It weighs about the same. Fine. Yeah. But it's not carbon. No. Arai do a carbon one. Do. That's... A lot of money. Mate, I won't even put a link in the description. Go Google it yourself. Free, free bags, <laughs> bruv. Yeah. Do you know what? I saw a guy with one of those on. Yeah. From Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch okay. Racetrack. We're riding back. Okay. And someone bought it for him. They custom fit it and someone bought it for him. That guy is loved. Right? I got to talk free to my, I got to talk to my missus. Bags. <clears throat> free bags, mate. Present, but anyway, the next. It's next, by the way. Oh, next. No T on the end. Yeah, yeah. So you, 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 you. Next are XR2 carbon dark red edition. Something like. That. The name just sounds legendary. 
yeah, it's, it's naughty. Cool, so that was the next XR2 Dark Red Edition, Carbon. Uh, and this one is number 1358 in particular. So if you ever come across the one for 1358, it's the one we reviewed. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, thoughts? You gave it... Five. I'm giving it five stars. You're getting so much yeah. so much um, kit with the helmet. Uh, you, if you were to lay it out and add it up, it'd probably come to more than, yeah. than it's actually worth. If you were to, yeah. If you, you were to even it. replace those bits that they're giving you yeah. with spare parts from the catalogue, it would cost more. Yeah. yeah. And so, yeah. this visor, for that alone, to have it legally. Yeah. And actually, on that note of visors, mm. AGV for an Iridium visor, mm -hmm. you're looking at 90 odd quid. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me what Arai visors are um, currently I ish? believe Arai, mm, I don't have an Arai at the moment, but Showy okay. visors, yeah. to put in perspective, my clear Neotech 2 Showy visor yeah. CNS2. to replace. Is ninety two pounds. There you go. Eighty six, ninety two pounds, something like that. But so it's really expensive. These visors. Okay. Say you had an XR two from a previous year and you just wanted the visor, like some of my customers did. Mm. The visor alone is forty quid. So I mean, and I can see the E mark there. Correct. So it's got the E mark. It's so got the daytime. Add to that me. that you can use it in the daytime. Add to that they also do give you the clear as well. Compare it to the fact that from most comp competitors you're looking at eighty quid for a cool visor. That's nuts. It's a carbon fiber helmet. It's, oh, mate, it's serialized, serial number. It's limited, it's a limited run. You've got that awesome, cool red detail on the back, which I don't know how much you can make out, but I'm sure you saw earlier. Like that is different, it's unique. I think 300 quid, or for actually, really, whatever you find it for online or even on our store, link will be down below. Um, I think that's a bargain. It's a lot of helmet for, yeah. for not too much money. Yeah. So yeah, five stars. Five stars. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. As always, like, comment, subscribe, share. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See Peace. you next week. Peace.